You gotta be kidding me. People are now starting to get like either bored out of their mind or they just don't have nothing to do and they don't want attention and they're gonna start now doing videos of projectors. Projectors. Are you kidding me? I mean these older projectors or ones that were older and now they got updated, which is a whole load of because I've bought into that gimmick too. Where Amazon they have older projectors, but they either sent them to the lab and they got updated with some better brightness or whatever contrast, which is a load of it's just a gimmick. Like uh now I see Mr. F here I'll type his name, Mr. 4K upscaler. He's starting to do projectors again. I don't I don't get him. He was all about 4K TVs. Now he's doing projectors. I've had that uh Vankyo, he had crap. That bomb maker crap. I mean really if you if you want quality projector and you want my opinion? I've had projectors. Go on my channel and check out my XOOM772X. And then put projectors. Or you can find them in my Sean Lee section. Because I do a lot of videos of WWE events, WWE stuff. Uh, I started back in the day with headphones and building uh, PCs and then TVs and just random videos. And I started doing projectors a while back. Uh, I kind of grew out of that, even TVs. Um, but no. people are now just doing videos of projectors. Like, are you serious? Now you see now on all Facebook. I mean, I mean, uh, YouTube. Even I see on Facebook, people are trying to sell projectors on the marketplace. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, but do get yourself a deal if you can find one. But, uh, my recommendation, if you want a, a good projector, is get C-Best. C-Best. C-I. Here, I'll spell it out here. Oh, my bad. It's hard to uh, hold a controller and do the video at the same time on my phone. Yeah, get yourself a C-Best. I even had, I had the older one. I haven't even tested the new one. I'm sure that one's even way more amazing. But the other one I had was just good. It was a 1080p native projector. And when you want to buy your projectors, make sure you put it on like Amazon or eBay native. When you type in 720p native or 1080p native. You don't want to just randomly go down and look. And it'll be buying... These 480 or 800 by whatever, you don't want that crap. <clears throat> the only projector that was the best 480p one was that uh, KUAK uh, M17. Period. Nothing better than that. I didn't even think it was a 480p, but it was. <clears throat> and they sell it on Amazon or eBay. The K-U-A-K or K-A-U-K. I can't remember how it's spelled, but the M17. Just check that out. That was pretty good. Not as bright as I wanted to, but the colors and everything just spot on good for a budget projector. It, the, if I had to say out of all budget projectors I've tested, from uh, the ones at Walmart don't even buy that uh, RCA. I bought that, the newest one they, they came out with. Crap. Don't even buy the 720p model either. Uh, yeah, just get yourself a good one. If you want to even get the Dorito one, that's a good one too. Yeah, let me see if I can show my channel here real quick. I'll show you some of the projectors I've done. Yeah, but it's just crazy. You see now these all these YouTubers... Or bored out of their mind, and they're starting to do projector videos when they were doing TVs and, and other stuff. It's just mind blowing to me. Like, really, you're gonna waste people's time on crap projectors that are budget crap ones when you can get yourself a decent one 
if you want good companies. I say some Epsons. I've had the Epson uh, 1060. That was pretty good. If you could find that under $500, that's a good deal. You just need the great, you need, you need a, a good uh, sheet to put on your wall for that. It didn't look as great on a white wall. So you have to do some research on what uh, sheet to put on or a projector screen. And don't get the cheap ones. And I see I do a lot of WWE. Let me just put projector. And I'm trying to type on my PS4 controller. Yeah, so I've done. See that one right there? That was the best here. Let me see if I can do a quick video of how good it was. Just for a budget. This is the K U A K. You see how good the colors were on it? And that was like what I saw in person. Sometimes these phones and all these devices make these projectors look so good, but not really in person. Let me rewind it so I don't have to hear my talking. Yeah, see? And that was a 480p projector. It says 720p on the description, but really it's a 480. Yeah, so that was the best budget one I've had. Uh, and if you want a good 1080p, if you can find this on a deal, get it. The Drurio. This is vanilla almond butter. Its core ingredients are almonds, Sorry for egg whites. Just skip through this. Yeah. That was a good projector. Let me just see if I get a good scene for you know. There you go. Yeah, see the blacks, the colors on that thing was a crazy, just on my white wall. Alright. Yeah, I mean, some of the Vancouver's are okay, but I don't, I don't, they're not worth it to me. Uh, you can get a lot better for your money. Yeah, see the my Epson 1060 I had there. I even had a neck NP2000 a while back. That was good too. And so, yeah, CBS. Uh, it was just the best one I had. The colors, everything, just almost like you're watching a 4K TV. But uh, enough of that, these people doing videos about 4K uh, projectors or projectors that are budget, which you're not really going to find a 4K projector at all, budget-wise. I don't know why I mentioned that. But um, these people doing random projector videos, I mean, come on, man. Really? Help people find the best for their money, not these cheap crap bad experience projectors that are just a waste of money if you want a good brand see best um, Viva Bright but, uh, that's it have a good one